Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, we're going to carry on with our discussion on parameters in uh, SQL statements. Uh, what we're going to work on now is our insert method. Um, and in, in this case, it's uh, called the create method. And in the process of doing so, we're going to use some other parameters and we're going to be doing a lot more parameters. So there may be a couple times where I'm going to pause the video and, and, and do a lot of things and then uh, restart. Um, so it may be a little trickier to follow along, but uh, with, uh, with some luck, we should be able to get through it pretty easily. Okay, so if we start creating our, um, our create method, when we have a create method, what we obviously want to do is we're giving it some information so that we can create an address you know, and populate the database, but we also want to return the result from populating that database because we're gonna give it a bunch of information, um, but uh, when we're creating a, an entity on a database, we don't have a key column yet. We just have all the data that we're feeding into it when the information is input um, the database will send us back uh, its identity column which is in in this case we're looking at addresses so that therefore means that we should have an address id after we create uh, an entity on the table so in this process now we're going to we're going to send in an address okay and that means that we are going to, whoops, we are going to return the item back with the new address uh, ID, okay? Now, to do this here, uh, we have a couple things that we must do first, okay? Uh, we have to connect to the database, and of course, that naturally means we have a disconnect, okay? Like this. Uh, we are going to set up a, an SQL command here, okay? Just like this, and we're going to call that command equals new SQL command. All right, now it's got these red underlines, so I'm going to add that into our, um, our object. Okay. Now, I was trying to avoid this earlier, but um, as I recognize going forward, we're going to have to have some minor functionality available to us in our uh, repository, but we're still going to keep some of the more common things that we do uh, in our uh, base repository until we start getting into reflection, in which we, in case we'll be able to eliminate a few things uh, that we do redundantly in our classes. Ultimately, the whole goal behind object-oriented programming is to eliminate redundant things in, uh, in our programming and make them a little bit more elegant. So hopefully we'll get to that point. Okay, so we have a few things that we're gonna, we have to do. And um, in our base repository, if you recall, we have this list of parameters, okay? We're creating a an address <coughs> insert okay which means that uh, the address just a general address has a few um, uh, a few attributes that we have to be familiar with so if, what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, into create a new sql file okay if you can't find it here you can just go up here and type sql and that should bring us to SQL file. All right. Uh, we also want to connect to a database here uh, when we're doing a search on our on using a, a new SQL file because it's not going to automatically be connected to a database. So we're going to connect to our, our student tracker database as well. Sometimes it goes a little slow. There we go. Connect. All right. Now, in the process of inserting data, if you recall from my, the other um, uh, SQL uh, tutorials, we have, uh, we talk about inserting. So we look at data uh, inserting into addresses. We are going to start off with, we want to put in student ID, for example, all right? We also have uh, a name, of 
the object. Let's just go alphabetical order here. We go city, uh, country. What else do we have? I'm just doing control space, by the way, to uh, keep adding things in. Now remember here, if we're inserting data, we don't need to update create date and edit date, nor do we have to update the key column because that's not. Uh, these are all things that are updated on insert. Okay. Uh, we've already got name in there. We're going to add in postal code, uh, province, we have street, name, street, number. What else do we have here? We almost got everything. I think we've got everything here. Good. Okay. Now, the next step is to add in the values. Oops, I didn't spell that right. Okay, and values goes in like this. Okay, now remember we're using um, parameters. So in our statement, all the parameters that we have uh, have a an at symbol next to them. Okay, so we just do it like this. Put an at symbol next to each one of these parameters or values. And I'm just using cut and paste here so that it makes it very quick to uh, move through. And I go back over. Now in this command, okay, uh, if you recall from using, using this before, um, we, if we put that at symbol next to our string, I can start working with this as though it's kind of like a big story. All right, so if I go over here, I can just paste in a bunch of text in, in the middle and it should uh, should fall through pretty easily. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to introduce something else into this statement, and this will be used a little later, and I'll explain it to you. This one is called um, the uh, scope identity. Okay. And the scope identity uh, will return our new address ID okay like this scope underscore identity okay and I usually like to put a little semicolon there all right so that will be used to return our new address ID after we do the uh, actually execute our command okay now we have some parameters that we're going to uh, going to add in and to do this, we're going to do parameters uh, equals new. Uh, oops, there we go. List of parameters. Okay. Now there's a couple ways of doing this. They're uh, they're probably a little more a uh, little more clear or concise or smaller. But I'm doing this for for uh, so that everybody can see what's happening. Okay. So we do parameters dot add. We'll do a new parameter, okay, and we'll start off. Now I'm going to be pausing here in a moment just to uh, as I get through a couple of these because they do take a little bit of time, okay. So parameter name equals student ID, and this remember this has to have the at symbol next to it, okay. We also have an SQL data type which is equal to uh, int, this is uh, the type that we are looking at, or we're using. Okay, the value comes from item dot student ID. Okay, and we just do it like that. We just put in another. We'll put in one more. Now, what's gonna? What we have to do because we used an int before. Uh, this is going to be uh, for name, a parameter called name. And if you remember from our setting up of our database, this is an nvar char. Okay, so we change that to nvar char and uh, we add name there. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video while, we, while I move ahead really quick. Okay, we're back. Here we have um, our, our list of parameters. And that parameter list is now going to be added into the uh, parameters using add range. 
and we're going to add in our parameters and uh, the list has as i mentioned before I, if i haven't i will show you right now uh, i'm going to add in the range of parameters and it goes in as an array uh, but we're using in a list so we can use the function in the list to uh, put it out in the format of an array okay all right now the next thing we actually have to execute our command okay so from this we do execute non-query okay now if everything went right um, what we're what we're going to be uh, uh, getting into is uh, we, we at this point we could actually insert uh, an address all right but we're not going to be able to do much with it when we're done. So we're going to try to, uh, we're going to add in a, something called an output parameter, okay? So we're going to add in this one here, whoops, parameters.add, same thing, it's a new parameter, okay? But we're going to add in now the parameter name is uh, at address ID. I'm just going to spell that right. The SQL data type equals an int again. All right. And the direction is what needs to be uh, formal here. And it is an output type. All right. And that should uh, that should pretty much do it for for that. All right now after we have executed our command all right uh, we're going to uh, update the address id with the information that we uh, that we got from our uh, our query okay and we do it just like this so we ask for the address id and then we ask specifically for the value of the information and by the way that value is is a um, is uh, something called an object so it's it's uh, sort of loose it doesn't it doesn't mean it's an integer it doesn't mean it's a, a, a string it's just an object okay so we have to cast that object to the type that it's going to be and this one here an address ID is an int so it has to be converted over to an int all right Okay, so from what I can see, we're, we're looking pretty good. I think we've got everything we need. We now need to go over to program, and we actually need to set it up. Now, I'm going to run this for a moment, just, just with what it is. We're not going to add anything. We're just going to do a quick count and register what we actually have in the database. Uh, as far as I know, I think we have two addresses. So, And yes, we do. We have two addresses. And I just pull the last address in the list, okay, the most most recent, okay. And just so you know, uh, in the break, I uh, I changed this one from zero. Zero would give me the first item. This now gives me the last item, so the most recent item in the list, okay. All right. So we're going to now go ahead and add or create new address okay so we do new address okay so from here oops, there we go from here I'm going to start off by adding some details about the city let's go with Toronto and again I'm doing control space country we're in Canada why not when I add Canada uh, don't need all that information we need name okay name is my other home because the other ones are just the home okay so from name postal code let's add in postal code so That it? Yeah, there we go. Six characters. Okay. And province equals Ontario. Almost done, guys. Street name. 
is uh, easy street. Get so creative with these things. Uh, and then our street number, we'll just do one, two, three. I think we're almost done. We just need our student ID, which is uh, one. Okay, so that should do everything. Uh, we're creating the address. And uh, I also want to um, I want to return the information that came back from my create. And to do that, I'm going to also put put a, a debug point so we can show you what actually came back here. Okay, and I'll put uh, I'll put a debug point um, right on this one just before we uh, we uh, ask for that information. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to run this command. We have some build errors. Let's find out first of all what those are. A local variable address is defined. Uh, oh, we already have it. Sorry, guys. So we go, we're just going to call this new address just to make it easy on us here. There we go. New address. Okay, we will run this and find out what we get. Looks like we might have some, no, we're good. We're, we're, we've got no errors here. Let's hover over value. We have a value of 20, which is our, uh, our ID that we returned. Okay, we set our, uh, our address ID to 20. Okay, continue. So that means that our, our new address, if I go over here, I now have an official address ID, okay? So it's, it's been added to the database. I'm gonna continue. And oh, we've got a problem here. So let's find out what it is. Uh, we know a few things about this and I think I've got a pretty good idea. So I execute this command in our read over here, and yes, I know exactly what it was. So when I when I created this this set of parameters, uh, what I have to do is I have to also nullify the parameters. They're not they're not important to anything else but this one. So we'll try that one more time. And of course, when we run through this again, we're gonna we're gonna create yet another one. Um, so we'll just, we won't worry about creating it. We'll just do it. And we may run into another problem as I'm running this. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay. So same things. We've got four entries. It pulled up the last entry as well. So that's the most recent entry. Okay. And that's about it so far. We're going to add a few more pieces of functionality, um, into our, uh, into our address uh, or create function later on, but uh, as at this point, we're not too worried about anything else. Um, the reason we're going to add more in is because we have our our um, our ID, but we don't have create and edit date yet. So we have to actually go off and ask for that information uh, to fill up the all the data that we, we needed. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. Um, we've uh, covered some good ground and we will uh, pick up again in, uh, when we're looking at update uh, information, updating information in your database. Uh, remember to like and share and subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you in the next session. Thanks guys.